Sure. So um, KIF-1A um, associated neurological disorder is caused by mutations in the KIF-1A gene. And um, our kids have um, challenges uh, with, we have significant seizure disorders, uh, movement disorder, vision, um, intellectual disability, and uh, you know, some, a constellation of other uh, challenges that we face. And so it's, um, it's not, it, at times it doesn't feel like it's one disease. It feels like it's this um, constant understanding of several different diseases, also the perfect storm, you know, sometimes. And so the seizures are, are uh, really problematic in our community. And so that's something that, um, you know, we're, we're all very aware of and uh, trying to make sure that the community and the families can identify seizure type and can, um, you know, know, know where to go when they're, um, when they're recognizing these problems is, is pretty important. So our, my family's journey to um, get a di diagnosis for Susanna was longer um, than it, it needed to be, right? And I think that um, what's very encouraging is that uh, you, you, these diseases like KIF-1A, it's difficult to have a clinical diagnosis. You need to be confirmed with uh, genetic testing. And for us, it was whole genome sequencing. Um, and so just in the last two years, um, the, the access and cost of getting that test has, um, has improved greatly. But that, in many ways, is driven by the families and the foundations and people screaming from the mountaintop saying, listen, we, you know, we have these kids with undiagnosed diseases that are, um, you know, we're, we're having painful tests and, uh, you know, unnecessary hospital stays, all because we're not having access to the right, the right test. And so... Um, once families actually are able to um, to access that test and find a diagnosis, then you know at least there's a a pathway that uh, you know is is being created and and it's a uh, you, know, you kind of become a member of a club um, and that's what foundations are is uh, is a way to bring people together and a way to um, illustrate the path forward and how we can um, go about doing everything we can to accelerate the development of potential treatments. That's, that's what we exist for. Make, make no mistake that you know, advocacy in so many different ways is vital to what we do. Education, awareness, but every single parent advocate is in it to, to do whatever we can to accelerate you know, discovery. And, and